Hello and thank you for joining my channel today and watching it. Today I'm going to be talking to you about business, specifically the lawn care business and how to increase your earnings. But before I do, I beg you, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. This will benefit you as well as me because it will provide me a money to go out and talk to people and interview them and ask them the questions of how you can increase your profits. For me, the one thing I know about business, I've been in this business since 1988 in Tidewater, Virginia. Before that, I was in North Carolina. And to be honest with you, I never did make the money that I thought I could. And the reason I never made it was basically because of I did not know the industry. And if you don't know the industry, you will not make it. That's the whole key. What to charge, what to charge, what to charge. If you're just saying, oh, I need to make $30 an hour, $25 a job, $30, $45, you can't do it by guesswork. You have to be competitive. Well, really, I'm not competitive, but you have to be know what your competition those others that are in the business are ch charging. For E, if a lawn care company such as Kim Lawn is charging $500 to oversee a lawn, well, what do you think the cost should be? $500. do not you think they have done market research to find out how they can make money in this industry? Okay, for me, I'm not a lawn care business, okay? I'm a land, landscaping company, a lawn care company, and I provide seating for my customers in the fall or in the spring if they need it. So you have to look at who you are as a company and what you're doing and also your overhead. Well, me being me, it was last year that I started studying industry standard for each thing that I do. And what I discovered was that industry standard told me to ch charge $120 for mulching per yard. Well, before that, I was only charging $85 per yard. Now, can you imagine the price difference, the jolt that was for my present clients? But yet, people were willing to pay it because they knew that everything has gone up and that I needed to uh, pay myself. Now, cutting grass, that's a whole different subject within itself because I charge a minimum of $40 per yard. And that's at least 30 minutes in a yard. And my rate is I'm charging a dollar per minute $65 an hour, sometimes 60, sometimes 85, sometimes even $120 if I'm picking up a chainsaw. Even crank a chainsaw on a job, I charge $50 extra. So I'm trying to give you tidbits and information on, look, there's money to be made here. And we don't need to be in competitive competition with each other. We just need to know the industry standard and enhance each other to make money. If, if I go out and bid a job $60 and then somebody comes in and lowballs me and charge, say I'll do a $45, who are they really hurting in the end? It's the industry. So you have to be willing to make the money if you're gonna be in the business. And a lot of people, this is a cash business, I'll admit, and gets paid in cash. And they take the cash, they stick it in one pocket, stick checks in another pocket, and at the end of the day, they go out and have a jolly good time with the cash on hand. And at the end of the month, they can't pay their bills and say, oh my God, I can't make any money in this business. Well, you spend all that cash. You can't be spending cash. The money you're making, you need to stick everything in your checking account and account for it so that at the end of the year, you can say, look at the numbers and say, oh, I did well. 
now can afford to buy a new truck, new lawnmower, whatever you need, you can expense it out. But if you're take it robbing your bank, you're really gonna hurt yourself in the end. I hope this information helped you and it's my desire to help you grow and why? Because if I help you grow, I'm giving back to my industry that so served me and helped me. I'm now 68 years old. I'm slowing down in life. I'm not trying to conquer the world. I'm trying to make a living. And this is a great business when you get 68 that you can go out and do it and basically work six, eight hours a day if you want to, or four hours a day, and make enough money to supplement your social security. That's what I'm doing. And also, it keeps you active. And as you age, you wanna be active. And also, for all you young whippersnappers out there, listen up, I got a lesson for you. Pay yourself, and also invest in your future in the sense of sticking money aside and saving for your retirement because it comes quick okay it comes very quick and when it does you'll look back and say oh i wish i did this or i wish that i did that but there's no going back it's now what are you doing now to make a difference for tomorrow so do your best and thank you for watching please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching this video bye bye